Hey, welcome back to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to talk about a rarely used command called traceL2, uh, which is like a uh, layer 2 trace route command. So basically, it traces uh, layer 2 paths throughout your VLAN. Um, and uh, we'll look at some specific settings. The other thing it does really well is it detects layer 2 loops in the environment. So it really has two uses. Um, so it's a proprietary protocol, uh, traces the traffic path through a specified VLAN, uh, and it can, can be used to, uh, to probe all reachable paths to uh, all devices in the VLAN. Um, so it can uh, trace a particular IP, MAC, or host name in the VLAN. It can probe the entire topology. It displays input and output ports at each hop. It displays the round trip time. Uh, it uh, displays the um, uh, if there's ports in a VLAN that form a loop, um, and it displays each hop's layer two protocol, such as STP, RSTP, you know, um, Metro Ring, etc., uh, on the interfaces. So it tells you what the uh, what the layer two loop prevention mechanism is on the interfaces, um, and and then it generates a report for you. So we'll have a look at that. So the syntax of the command is pretty straightforward. It's trace dash L2 VLAN, and then you have a required VLAN number in there, and optionally you can add a destination address. So um, the destination address could be a MAC address, it could be an IP address, it could be a host name. So uh, obviously I need to have a DNS server set up in order to do a host name. Um, and then if you don't specify, specify anything, if I just do a trace L2 VLAN 1, for example, without a destination address, then it will trace all the paths that it finds out of that VLAN. So uh, the topology I'm using today, I've got four switches. They happen to be uh, ICX 6610s, but it doesn't really matter. Anything in the ICX series supports it. Um, and so I've got them connected together with a single link right now. And then I have this dotted link here, which is actually shut down at the moment. So I'll show you, uh, after I show you the, the trace route, um, then I will show you how it detects loops and, and what that looks like exactly. Um, but it is um, basically what happens is all the devices in line have to support trace L2 protocol. So um, ICX's, um, um, the MLX, the uh, Fastrun SX should support it. Um, but if it's a device that does not support trace L2, then it will just pass those packets through. So if it's a third party device or say, you know, a VDX or um, a server iron, something like that, it'll just pass those through. So you won't see those hops, but you will see the device at the remote side of that hop. So you'll still detect that loop or you'll still see that um, the input and output port from the devices that support it, but the other ones will be transparent. Um, the other thing is the source and destination devices have to be uh, brocade devices that support trace L2. So I couldn't do a Mac trace to a end user PC or to a phone or something like that. It has to be a, you know, a brocade device to do that. So let's see what that looks like. So um, as I said, I have, if I do a show FTP neighbor here, I see I have router six out the other port. So I'm on router five, which goes, which connects to router six, router seven, router eight, etc. cetera. Um, now I don't see that redundant link at the moment because I, that is shut down. So I'll bring that back up to show the loop at the end. But to see this command go, we just do a, excuse me, trace dash L2 VLAN. And then we have to specify a VLAN number here. So we're gonna use VLAN one, the default VLAN. And then um, lastly, so it's asking me either for a destination Mac, a destination IP, a destination host name, or just hit enter and let it probe the entire VLAN. So that's what we're going to do at the beginning. So it's probing uh, layer one, takes, you know, a couple of seconds. And then it says to see the results, you do a tra trace dash L2 show. Okay. And it's going to show me. Uh, so it says in my VLAN one, it was probed 11 seconds ago. I've got three paths out of VLAN one from this device. Um, so path one from my one slash three slash one, it has, it, it'll go four hops. Um, so these are the switches, right? So I'm connected to, to 10, 0, 0, 6. So it's going, this is from the perspective of that switch. So those, if you think of it like the, the probe packets go 
out my one three one one slash three slash one into one slash three slash one out of one three three on this switch hits the next switch goes in one three three out one three one on ten zero zero seven um, then on the when it hits the next switch it comes in one three one and out one one ten uh, and then lastly we see one more device out e one one ten um, which is ten zero zero one and then we can see the MAC address so so that's path one path two, path three. So those are all the possible paths that we see out of this device. And then it's showing, uh, over here, it's showing the microseconds. So this is the round trip time to get to those. Don't get too hung up on those microseconds uh, because they'll change uh, as, you, as you run it multiple times. And there's no need to clear these stats. The next time I run the trace L2 VLAN command, it will clear the previous stats and replace it with new stats. So um, so don't worry about that. So, th so the other thing we can do, we could do a, um, we could trace to a particular IP address. So 10.0.0.8, for example, and then it shows me my path. So I don't need to do the show command there. It just shows me what I found. Um, or I could do it by MAC address. So if I didn't want to do it by IP, I could trace to a particular MAC like so, and it will show me the path to get to that MAC address. Um, so lots of great things there. So, so what this is not going to show you is paths that are blocked by spanning tree or blocked by Metro ring protocol. This is showing you the active path to get to that end device, right? So, um, I may have, you know, multiple paths to get from one device to another, but it's only showing me the active path because, you know, I don't really care what, what's being blocked by spanning tree because I don't have traffic traversing that right now. So the other thing we can do is it'll show loops. And this is probably the most useful part of this whole feature. Um, sometimes, you know, trying to find a layer two loop is a real problem, right? Um, and so this thing, it's gonna send those probe packets out and actually, you know, find that loop for you pretty much instantaneously by, um, you know, by detecting exactly what switches and what ports are involved in that loop. So um, in this case, I have a port shut down. So I'm going to go to one slash three slash three, and I'm going to enable that interface. Okay. And then I'll drop back out here. I'm going to run that uh, trace dash L2 VLAN one again. Right. And see, so now it shows me right away, warning, the following four hops form a loop in VLAN 1. So hop 1, this is this is me, right? So I don't have an in and out port. So uh, um, 10, 0, 0, 5, and then 1, 3, 1 on 6, 1, 3, 3 on 7, 1, 3, 1 on 8. So between these four switches, I have a loop, right? So... Um, that's exactly right. And so, you know, I can do the trace dash L2 show, and it's still going to show me the paths in here, but the first thing it's going to show me is I've got this loop. So if you've got a loop in the network, you know, obviously the worst case scenario is you're going to go and unplug ports until that loop goes away. Well, in this case, you just, you know, run that trace L2 VLAN command. It's going to find the loop for you and tell you exactly what ports are on what switch are involved in that loop. And then it's just a matter of breaking that loop, you know, with spanning tree or by physically unplugging a port or disabling it or whatever the case. But uh, anyway, really handy command, um, certainly underutilized and, and under documented, but um, great for finding loops and great for finding active layer two paths throughout your environment. All right, that's it for today. Catch you next time. Thanks.